Hi guys, welcome back. After seeing so many people clearing the exam and asking for more videos around CK exam questions. So here I am back with more questions. So far, whatever questions we have covered, these questions has helped many people and they have shared their feedback in the comment section that they have cleared their exams and many people cleared the exam with more than 90%. So I am overwhelmed with the response that I'm getting. So continuing the series, I'll be sharing more questions with the solutions. So without waiting much, let's get started. So this is our next question, which is about context. So the question is, you have to access multiple clusters from your main terminal through kubectl context. Then we need to write all those context names into a file name slash opt slash course slash one slash context. After that, we need to write a command to display the current context into this file. The command should use kubectl command. Finally, write a second command doing the same thing into this script, but without the use of kubectl command. Okay, so first we need to use kubectl command and in the second one, we should not use kubectl command. So we can run kubectl config get context hyphen o name and redirect this output to the given file slash opt. So as you can see, we are getting the error because this directory or file doesn't exist. So we can create one. Now we can run the same command again. Okay, my bad. Uh, we have created this as a directory. This needs to be a file. So let's clear the screen and run the command again. Okay, now we can check if the context is written to this file or not. So let's run cat slash opt course one and the context file. And as you can see, the context name is written over here. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to write a command to display current context into this file. The command should use kubectl command. So we need to make this bash script context default kubectl.sh and here we need to use kubectl command. So the command which we have already used, I'm just going to copy paste it and we can just put it here and then save this one. We need to make this executable first. So this is giving us the context name. So this is with kubectl command. Now we need to make another file which is context default no kubectl.sh. That means we need to create a command which doesn't have kubectl and it should display the context. So I'm just saving this file. We can check the context in kubeconfig file as well. So the path is home directory dot cube slash config. Here also like we have the cluster details and we can get the context here. So the name of the context is this one. So we can grab this one. So we can use the command cat and we can just grab current and it will display the current context. So as you can see the current context is this one. So let's edit the file. We will put the command and save this one and let's make this executable. And let's test this by running it. And as you can see, we got the context name here. So this question is done. This was a small one, but you can definitely get questions related to context. So I suggest you please practice this and go through the kubeconfig file really well and understand its content. 
so keep learning see you in the next video